Welcome to the rocket profile of the Delta IV, launcher for the Orion spacecraft's test flight, EFT-1. Due to its high cost, the Delta IV has only been used for one commercial launch, UTELSAT W-5, with all other launches paid for by the U.S. government. It has been used to launch military communication satellites, weather satellites, and the variant depicted here launched numerous satellites in the Global Positioning System, GPS. One reason for the high cost is the advanced engine on the Delta IV's first stage. The RS-68 is the most powerful hydrogen-oxygen propellant engine in service in the world. With 3,594 kN of thrust in vacuum, a sea level specific impulse of 360 seconds, and 412 seconds in vacuum. Its burn time without throttling is 4 minutes and 5 seconds. It was meant as a cheaper variant of the space shuttle main engines, the RS-25s, using the simpler gas generator cycle which provides less efficiency. Supplementing the core engines was a variety of booster arrangements. The Delta IV comes in five flavors. The basic Delta IV medium without boosters can carry 8.5 tons to low Earth orbit. There are three Delta IV M plus variants, uh, 4,2, 5,2, and 5,4. The first number indicates the fairing size, and the second is the number of solid boosters. So Delta IV can have a 4 meter fairing with two solid boosters, as shown in this video, a 5 meter fairing with two boosters, or a 5 meter fairing with four boosters. The boosters are Gem 60s with 879 kilonewtons of vacuum thrust each, 245 second sea level ISP, and a 91 second burn time. The four booster variant can lift 12.8 tons to lower Earth orbit. The final variant of Delta IV is the Delta IV Heavy, which adds two more common booster cores identical to the first stage except with nose cones as boosters. In this configuration, the center CBC throttles down partway into flight, so that it lasts 5 minutes and 28 seconds. The payload capacity to low Earth orbit for the heavy version is 25.98 tons, and its cost is between $300 million and $400 million. The second stage is known as the Delta Cryogenic Second Stage, the DCSS, and features one RL-10B2 engine with an extendable nozzle for improved specific impulse, provides 110 kilonewtons, burning hydrogen and oxygen with a specific impulse of 462 seconds. The 4-meter DCSS offers a burn time of 14 minutes and 10 seconds, while the 5-meter stage has a burn time of 18 minutes and 45 seconds. In all its configurations, Delta IV has been launched 35 times with 34 successes, the only failure being the Delta IV Heavy demonstration flight where the RS-68s all shut down early, leaving the payloads unable to reach their intended orbits. As a result, the Delta IV has a very good 97.1% success rate. On that note, thank you for watching this rocket profile of the Delta IV.